Hello everyone and welcome to our Gaming Network Architecture class um, and the Fundamentals of ne uh, Game Networks uh, class. Uh, the Gaming ne Network Architecture is the undergraduate version of the class and the Fundamentals of Game Networks is the graduate version. And uh, basically uh, we would study in this course the contents that are um, related to um, gaming network technologies. My name is um, Dr. Ali Reza Tavakoli and I have a PhD in computer science. Um, here for the first day of the class actually um, after I, I want to welcome you um, to this class I would like to talk about um, basically showing you a, a very basic navigation through our online um, course materials. If um, you are not familiar with the Layer 9 technology, uh, which is the new Blackboard that we are using and utilizing for our classes, for, for our online classes. And I'll walk you through um, here and there uh, about the areas of interest in, um, in the class. And then um, I would like you guys uh, to try to check your um, course homepage and course contents quite regularly and look for announcements that will be sent out. Um, for, for now, if you go on your Blackboard system, you will see your course under the GMNG 4314 or 6314 listed in your Blackboard system. And when you click on each course, the course homepage would show up. And in the course homepage, you would see um, the um, title of the course and also you will see the areas on the course homepage that uh, are portals to the contents and the information pages in the course. For now you will see the course content. It's a link that takes you to the course content um, which will be the weekly uh, materials that will be posted out. So if you click on the course contents either directly from the course homepage or from the uh, left side menu bar the course content is the third one, you will see the content of each unit uh, to be placed. So uh, for, for this first week you will see the content under Unit 01, Introduction to the Class. And uh, for this week basically we are interested in learning about each other's um, interests and background uh, in, in computer science and gaming as well as the applied arts and sciences. And each of the units will be um, essentially ideally require the amount of time that under the description um, you can see. For example, Unit 01 um, is going to be required for about essentially it, the, the ideal way to study this is uh, from August 27th to September 3rd. And, and of course this is not mandatory. Um, you can uh, view several contents of several units at the same time uh, uh, or, or spread your uh, learning uh, over a pace that is comfortable with you. There are certain milestones though that you have to uh, achieve uh, including the midterm, um, the projects and the homeworks that are being sent out. And, and again each of those will be placed within the unit that is more um, uh, related to their release time and due dates. Uh, but again you can, uh, as long as you, re you return everything by the due date, um, you can take your own pace. To the left, you would see the course um, menus. Uh, course homepage basically takes you to, to the very beginning of the page. Um, course syllabus and schedule would uh, open up your syllabus for this class. And by clicking on the attached file, you will see the course syllabus. I'll show you that in a little bit. Course con content uh, link again takes you to the content of the page. I'll talk about this content a little bit later. On the assignments section, when you click on it, you will be able to see the assignments that are being released and each of those assignments will have a PDF file that, that contains the information about that assignment, basically including the questions and the due date will be also released. You can also a a access your assignments from the content of the unit that that assignment is delivered and uh, access that. Under the assessment, you won't see anything yet, um, any survey or um, examination or test will be placed under this assessment. And again, you can access those assessment materials, uh, such as examinations and, for example, midterm tests or quizzes and things like that, um, directly from the content um, of that unit as well. 
I'll put the presentations under the class lines. And so, for example, for now, for this week, you will see the intro to, uh, syllabus uh, PowerPoint presentation. And I'll also create a video about that as well. The discussion board takes you to the uh, discussion board. And then in the, under the discussion board, you, create, you can create forums to put your discussions. But weekly, with each unit, there will be a discussion associated with that unit. And you can access that discussion either directly from the discussion board or from that the content of that unit um, or, or that week. <clears throat> that again, I will show you how to do that. Um, later so but and then um, the next link is the messages and that would take you the, to the primary communication means uh, within this class uh, you will by clicking on messages you will have the inbox and send uh, folders it's basically like your mail um, I would recommend you to use this um, this message system to send and receive emails about this course um, it will keep your your uh, questions and your messages and your emails organized because they will be within the course and also you can see them from your main Blackboard entry portal after you log in to see which classes have how many new messages in them and whatnot. You can click on create new messages or create message to send a message to, the, uh, to a particular individual. So for example, if you click on create message, you can click on 2CC and BCC. And when you click on 2, you'll see all of the names of the students registered in the class. You can send emails to students or to instructors. To do that, you just click on the name of the individual. And then you click on the add uh, icon in the middle here. And it, it, it selects the individual and then you type in your subject and you type in your messages and then you send the message um, and to view your messages you click on inbox and then you can see all of the messages in the inbox <coughs> the announcement that will be released um, again uh, will be placed under the announcements section here and um, so you, you, you should be able to access those announcements uh, my grades again contain <coughs> your grade information whenever a new assignment is out and you your have been your assignments have been graded so that's pretty much um, pretty much the views that you will uh, be able to see and that's the main contents or the information contents about each class um, that is of particular importance probably the most um, link that you will be using is going to be the course content link so when you click on click on the course content list li link a list of all of the contents or basically all of the units in, in the class will be released and so you'll be able to see the classes that are available and when you click on each unit it opens up the portal to that unit it, usually each unit will have an information uh, file or an information page on top and please read that information page because that includes the kinds of things that is expected from the students to do the kinds of things that are included within that course unit um, and um, and the topics that will be discussed. For example, in this week we will discuss basically how the content of the class will be working and we will, we will be presented and then the kinds of things that are um, created for this unit and also the kinds of things that you should be looking for. Um, the kinds of things that I'm uh, essentially including this week is basically um, the syllabus of the class makes, try to, to, to help you familiarize, familiarize yourself with the class activities um, the grading policies and, and the information about how your, uh, uh, your, your courses your course materials will be evaluated and any other material that is related to this class um, I'll present that shortly. Um, of course you're listening to this video so uh, you probably have found by this time what what kind of contents um, and and delivery methods we'll be using in this class? Um, there's going to be a, a, a discussion associated with this first week of the class, and so I'll ask everyone to try to to participate in discussions. The discussions are important because, as I will uh, uh, say in a little while, when I'm talking about the syllabus of the class, that these information or or, or these discussions will be a very uh, essential part of your class participation and uh, that accounts for about 10% of your total final grade. There's going to be the first homework assignment. I call this introduction homework. It'll be, it, it is uh, released this week and it'll be due by September 10th of, uh, at 11.59 p.m.
and also I have released a class survey and I'd like you to, to, to participate in the class survey. It's essentially let me know what your background is, um, what your interests are, and um, and what kind of programming languages and other information that I may, that may be helpful for uh, crafting the contents of this class for the widest possible audience range. <coughs> Each class unit, including this class unit, will have, aside from that information file or the information page to it, it will have two sections, a learning unit and a discussion and assignment um, unit. The learning unit contains lecture videos, slides, and any reading materials that will be assigned to that unit. And then uh, the discussion and assignments section will include discussions that are related to that unit, um, assignments um, that are released with that learning unit, and also if there is any survey, test, or question, they will be placed under the discussion and assignments unit. This way, we'll keep the organization of the class in such a way that if you needed to listen to the videos or, or find the PowerPoint slides, you can easily find them within their own learning unit um, section, and, um, and other uh, class activities will be placed within the discussions and assignments unit of the class. <clears throat> when you click on the learning unit, um, you should be able to see three basic sections. Um, the first section is lecture videos, that's where the contents of the videos are located and of course you have found this video so you're watching this so you know where to find that. The PowerPoint slides that, slides that, that are related to that week or that unit are also placed under the PowerPoint slides section of the learning unit and you can access them either from the PowerPoint slides section of your learning unit from each unit material or directly go to the class styles, slides from the left uh, menu right here and access those. And any further reading materials uh, will be placed uh, within the further reading material section of the learning unit. So for example, if you click on the PowerPoint slides section, you'll be able to watch the, and download the PowerPoint slides with this learning unit. If you click on the further reading materials, you'll be able to see what reading materials are created <coughs> for, for, uh, for each of your units. If you go back to the content of each unit, each class unit, you'll now see the discussion and, and assignments um, unit right under the learning unit, and so uh, there would be all the discussions and materials that you need to be participating. For example, in this class, you'll be participating in a class survey. You will be basically downloading and starting to work on your introduction homework, and I will also uh, create the link of your first week discussion, so you'll be able to see that under this discussion section here. All right, everybody, now that we have talked a little bit about how the class is delivered on the Blackboard, the, the look of the um, items on the Blackboard um, uh, keep changing every semester. So um, they may be um, arranged a little bit differently, but that should give you an idea as to how it has been scheduled. Um, and, and delivered on the blackboard. Um, but now let's talk a little bit about some um, information about how your, your, the students um, are, are, or what, what we are going to do in this class in terms of some major milestones and the kinds of things that you would expect from some information from the syllabus um, in that um, uh, what is your textbook and what kind of technologies are we going to use and all those sorts of things. So in this video we're going to talk, in this section of the video we're going to talk a little bit about these um, pieces. Um, as I um, told you I, I have uh, been teaching game related, um, AI related and, and essentially um, computational vision stuff um, at UHV and uh, my office at um, UHV is located at the University West in um, 263, the second floor. Um, and the, uh, my phone number is 3615704204 um, and you can call me at my office if you have any questions or um, you needed any assistance outside of the office hours um, in, in the class. And the office hours is going to be fairly clear where they are and how to access them on your class webpage. But you could use this uh, phone number and my email address um, here to set up an appointment or, or, or to talk and ask questions. 
um, if you need to. Uh, and this class is an online online class, and as such, it is going to be offered on the Blackboard uh, platform, uh, which you can access uh, from elearning.uhp.edu. This is um, a combination of a graduate class and an undergraduate class, and as such, it is going to be, you know, it's a, it's a senior level class, so it's going to require a lot of work on, 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 the, uh, on the student's side, but the kinds of concepts that we will be talking about and covering is uh, technologies that are related to digital gaming networks. So we first go over some basic intro to gaming network architectures, to, to general network architectures. We'll talk about um, what they are. Uh, in fact, we will start in, in, in Unit 1 in the next video in the playlist. Um, and then we will go into some details about network protocols. And these protocols that are um, designed for different kinds of network and different kinds of platforms. And then we will look at those protocols that are specifically designed for multimedia applications and um, a very special case of multimedia networking uh, applications is the game networking. So we're going we're to cover those uh, items. Then we will go into um, a little bit of um, information about how security is enforced, um, what the pitfalls of the security with uh, game networks are and how to avoid them and how you will be able to um, make uh, users interact. Um, then we will go into uh, the decision making um, on the server side processes on, on your um, network architecture. And from there we will see how you can um, establish things that are relevant to uh, setting up an environment in which you would have a lobby, you would have uh, a bunch of server uh, uh, clients connecting to each other, establishing chats, and all those sorts of um, fun stuff. Um, and then um, we ideally I would like to cover the process of establishing real-time as well as non-real-time game um, architectures uh, within a network uh, and we'll see how much of that we can get into uh, depending on how the class is, is, is processing and hopefully we will end up um, uh, basically going over virtual worlds and establishing some virtual worlds. Um, but um, those topics would be a little bit enhanced, especially this semester I would like to get into um, using Unreal Forge networking architecture a little bit um, and, and hopefully we'll get to that. If we do, uh, then we might not cover the last two portions of this, um, this outline. But we'll see how we'll do later on. So this is a, a, a live class effectively. Um, and I will be interacting with you all throughout the class, even though it's an online class, um, and we'll see how the class goes. Um, there are a couple of different kinds of technologies that we'll be using in this class, um, and the technologies are divided into three platforms, basically. We've got our... Um, um, I, in, in, in the hardware section of this platform, um, I, I believe that any... Uh, hardware will work. So we're not specifically asking for things like NVIDIA graphics cards or CUDA capable devices and stuff like that. Um, uh, but aside from that, as long as you have these technologies at your disposal that you can work, you should be able to do the class. I'm going to go over the broad range of these technologies, but um, within the class there are programming assignments, and those programming assignments are specifically designed for a particular platform, and we'll talk about it. Um, in a little bit. So, um, as far as the engines that we are concerned, um, you can do all of the, the course materials and the assignments in Unity, and that may be a useful engine to have. Um, I'll put uh, links to downloads of um, uh, Unity 3D um, on the resource section of this class. But you don't have to do things in Unity. In fact, I discourage you to do things in Unity unless you're absolutely proficient and, and, and comfortable with working and programming in Unity and with C Sharp um, in, in Visual Studio. Um, um, uh, because uh, I would like the class to be on, the, on, on a uniform platform, and that uniform platform is going to be JavaScript, uh, ActionScript, and, and, and Java developer's uh, environment. But um, 
but you can do all of the assignments in Unity, as I said, but you have to be very, very proficient. Then, towards the end of the class, we're going to work uh, with Unreal Engine 4, and we're going to establish um, a very simple, basic models uh, of networking in Unreal Engine, especially learning about the concepts of replication and how Engine handles those things and how we can set up um, those things. Uh, but that would be something towards the end of the class. As far as the programming is concerned, if you go with Unity, um, Unity is in C-sharp, so you have to do stuff in C-sharp. When we go with Unreal Engine, we will work with uh, blueprints. You don't really have to do uh, code programming if you, do, if you work with uh, Unreal Engine. But as I said, the majority of the class is going to be delivered over um, Akron script. Um, and a lot of um, assignments have already been set up, and there's there, there are neatly uh, uh, set uh, little tools and little projects um, that are based on Java. And um, and the front end for your network programming and scripting is going to be Action Script, which is a relatively easy uh, language to pick up if you if you know Java and, and C Sharp um, and or C plus plus. You should you should have no problem working with these. Uh, with the action script, it's just you know little syntax is different. So for example, you would type in the data type after the name of the variable and stuff like that. But aside from that, everything should be relatively straightforward. Um, also, for every single um, assignment that you have, uh, there are examples on how to do some portions of that assignment with action script. There are videos about it that I created as a part of this class, and um, and and you can just basically practically follow those steps and complete your projects. Um, and the network um, um, socket server that we are going to use in this class is called Electro Server. Electro Server is actually a free um, socket server and it's fairly easy to use so we're going to use this uh, socket server for our, uh, for our ba network backbone basically. And um, there are free downloads for um, Electro Server for this class, I believe we are going to use uh, Electro Server 4, and I have links um, to the resources that I'm going to later on um, talk to you about. Uh, but Electro Server is both programmable with ActionScript or with Unity, so you will have no problem working with either one of um, Sorry, with um, ActionScript and C Sharp. So um, either way, if you go with ActionScript or C Sharp, with Unity, you should have no problem. Again, as I said, if you want to, if you if you are completely proficient with Unity and you want to do all your programs in Unity and C Sharp, um, uh, feel free to do it. However, all the examples that I have, I have created them with Action Script. So, so some 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 students might think, oh, I don't want to learn a new language, so I'm just going to stick with uh, what I know so far. But the, I I don't have video assignments in this class and video materials in this class uh, with C Sharp. Uh, I do have all these videos uh, with Action Script, um, and, and I think it's a good idea to learn a, lang a new language if you don't know it anyway. The textbook for this class um, uh, is Action Script for Multiplayer Games and Virtual Worlds. And the author is uh, Joe Meiker, and um, the ISBN is 9780321643306060. Uh, feel free to, to 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 get this textbook. Um, we are going to cover a lot of the material from this textbook, and as I said, all the Assignments are designed after this textbook, and the resources are the resources that are made for this textbook. There are um, our, our Electro server is um, our socket server, as I said, and you can access that server downloads from the Electro Tank um, online website. There are documentations on it, and as I said, Electro server is, uh, uses both uh, Action Script and C Sharp, um, and I would put uh, and upload those environments for you. Um, if you want to work with C Sharp, as I said, you would use Unity. And if you do want to work with Action Script, um, the development that we're going to use is going to be Adobe Flash Game Development IDE. And then again, the links to these um, uh, software packages are going to be um, provided within the classroom when we get to it. In the class, I'm going to assess your performances based on several different things. Um, we will have homework assignments, um, roughly speaking three or four homework assignments. We'll have two projects about. Uh, and again, as I said, I'm going to assign these as we go on, so you may end up with uh, one project more, one project less. But that's roughly speaking how, how, how the materials are going to be given and assessed. Uh, there will be one midterm. 
uh, test and then there will be one final project at the end of the class. The percentages that I'm expecting um, for, for homework assignments, they're going to be about 20%. For projects, you're going to get about 20%. Um, and then midterm is going to be 25%. And uh, you will have 30% for your um, final project. Um, the grading po policy that I have uh, established here is uh, basically based on when you calculate your uh, grades and you average your homework grades based on its percentage, your midterm grade, your final grade, and your project grade based on the percentages, then you will end up with a, a number. If that number is greater than 90, that will give you an A. If the number is between 76 and 90, it will be a B. 60 and 75, basically 60 to 76 is going to be a C and 50 and 260 is going to be a D and less than 50 it would be a failing grade. Um, I do not ex um, uh, accept terribly late homework assignments or projects. Uh, however, I do have a very small um, window of opportunity to, for, for assignment submissions um, if they are late. Um, if, if, you, if you submit your assignment on time, then you would get the full credit for it, uh, or whatever grade you make. If you are one day late, and one day late is between zero seconds after the deadline, um, all the way to the twenty um, fourth hour of the deadline after the deadline, whatever grade you make, I'm going to multiply that by zero point ninety four. So if you made a hundred, you're going to end up with a ninety four if it's one day late. Um, if it's two days late then you would be getting uh, three quarters of whatever grade you make. If it's three days late, then you're going to get a little bit less than 50% of whatever you make. Um, and if it's more than four days late, then I'm not going to grade that assignment. Um, uh, if you do want to submit assignments uh, on time, you or, or, or you, you do expect that you can't submit an assignment on, on time because of uh, special circumstances, like a medical emergency or something like that, um, you would have to let me know in advance. So um, I, I don't expect for you to call me up or email me after you're already four days late to let me know that you're going to be four days late. If you would be four days late, you would probably know it a couple of weeks ahead of time. So you should let me know about that. And then I will give you a new deadline, and then these new um, late policies are going to apply to your new deadline. The tentative schedule that I have in mind for, for this class is that we will start with the introductions this semester, this week um, in Unit 1, um, and then your first assignment, your first introductory homework is out. Um, I want to see how, how you do with, or what your knowledge is, uh, knowledge of networking and gaming uh, are in, 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 in relation to networking. Um, and then um, uh, we spend about a week or two on um, network technologies for multimedia applications, and specifically towards the end of it, we'll see what what of those uh, technologies would apply to gaming. Uh, after all, gaming is multimedia, and um, then we'll cover the landscape of uh, web-based games. Um, we spend about a week on it. Then we spend about a week on um, uh, user connectivity and security. Then we spend about two or three weeks on chat rooms. Then we move into movement and multiplayer environments. We'll uh, touch on real-time uh, online games versus time tile-based gameplay, and we'll see what the differences of those things are. And um, we will go with um, tile-based games. Towards the end of the semester, I would like to combine tile-based games, cooperative gameplay, and virtual worlds uh, within um, probably the context of Unreal Engine 4, uh, because it is an amazing engine, especially with the blueprints, uh, even uh, putting together things that are networked that are fairly relatively, relatively straightforward. Forward. Um, and, uh, and we will um, work on those. Um, and your projects and homework assignments are going to be practically set out um, throughout the semester. If you've taken classes with me, it should, it should be no surprise with you, to you about how the class is designed and delivered. Um, so, at this point, um, I would like you to go back to the Blackboard. There are two things uh, as far as student um, uh, work for this unit and this um, section are concerned. Um, go ahead and um, 
finish up the, the, the videos for this class. There's going to be another video next in this playlist. Um, and then um, once you're done with your videos, go and take the survey that is available on the Blackboard um, in the Unit 1 contents and uh, download and start working on your first, first assignment. It's going to be um, due in about two weeks after it is released, which is the 20th of January. So two weeks after that, that's going to be your deadline. Well, um, that's about it for the introductions and the basics of the class. And uh, in the next video, you will learn about what we are going to do and what networks are.